welcome back to the channel. We got Jesse Cotton here from Luxury Gaming, and it went third consecutive top with Unchained. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We got Jesse Cotton here from Luxury Gaming, and it went third consecutive top with Unchained. Feeling pretty good. Obviously, was not able to close it out, but I'm still very happy with the top eight. Um, the deck is slightly different again. We always try and adapt as the meta evolves. So I'll show the differences and explain that. Um, as for the Unchained cards though, most of it will be rushed over because you've already seen it twice. Um, before I continue, huge shout out to, of course, Luxury Games. Um, yeah, my sponsor and wouldn't be able to do this without them. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you see all my profiles for any events I do well in the future. And also to Card Market for our sponsors as well. And also check out tsx1.com and use the code POTATO10 for 10% off on your sleeves. That's what I use in the events. They're fantastic. Uh, I do recommend them. All right, let's get into the video. So three tour guides, Rhino, Standard. Um, this should be debate dead, like no one's arguing anymore. Um, this should be Standard, Standard, Standard. Again, like you do between normal summons, these are definitely worse than tour guide to open. Um, starter, and then yeah, still no disaster. Um, yes, I know I said that it was uh, good in the mirror match, and there were more mirror matches for sure this event. But still, we're not in a tier zero format, so to build just for the mirror match in the main deck would be arrogant. Um, probably not the right word, but I, I think it would have been wrong. Um, anyway, so yeah, no no disaster there, and then just not breaking on it's not worth it. Still didn't decide it again. Maybe that was wrong, but I don't know. So the unchained monsters, and then these stay the same. Um, I still stand by this just to have the options. This is nice. And I don't think I ever used the pop effect this time, although I almost considered it one spot. Um, I mean, it's still like very happy that's gonna do two of these against cash. It was nice because then I had one to, I got like stopped, um, but I just sat one and I had Daruma to stop him back. And then when he did me only one to me, I still have this to you know stay alive and to push through. Um, so in the grind games, this is like really good. Obviously so is this, but I feel like this one gets you out of situations a lot more importantly. And then when you want this one, you can just search it. With this one, you can't always search it. You'd rather just draw this one. Um, so yeah, uh, six is a good number. So no, after that, contract stuff. These cards are just so good in the second and Sunday matchups, and they're great for follow up. But they are, I think, we have a Tory. Um, a lot of consideration for one for follow up things, but the thing is, in Sunday matchups, going second, this is just really good, threatening Zeus and popping cards as well, and just push through interruptions. And even going first, it's just consistency. It's not the best way to start because it means your follow-up is worse. It means you, you play in the Bistrals worse, you play in the Nib a little worse. Um, but as, if you have it like with something like the regular combo, then obviously it's fine as an extender. As a starter, it's not great, but it functions at least. It still functions. Um, yeah, so then, I mean, the four engines stay the same. I'm not gonna go over that anymore. Prosp's still good. Still Eclipse, still think it's really good, even though there's a lot of Unchained, it's not in the mirror. Um, no nibs um, for the monsters, yeah. I uh, just want the space for other stuff, and I feel like more people were finding to learn how to play around it better. Um, it's still fantastic going first, but I think going second is not good enough. Free Trust, again, these are like the best cards, and then Free Talents. Um, I don't know if more people want to play Hand Traps to try and like double Hand Trap this deck to stop it, because that's like one of the ways to try and do it. In which case, stuff like this is just really, really good. Uh, it's good going second as well. And the more we learn the mirror, we kind of figured, okay, if instead of Nib, you have talents, you just hold for follow-up. It's so hard for them to kill you that this is just fine. If you just play the flick follow-up and to stay alive, and then have you start your turn with like several cards plus this, you should just be good. Um, so, yeah, it was fine. No hand trap's always a little risky, but I'm used to it. And that's part of change of heart. Um, a couple of us in testing, we're talking about different options. Well, specifically what we wanted is with three talents in our deck, we wanted something we could add off thrust if we already had talents. Um, besides, Prison and Prosp are okay options, but they're not great. Um, Prosp is not the best in the mirror because you lose resources and now you can't kill them, which means you have to like stop their follow-up, which is pretty hard. I'd say it's harder than, than uh, killing them. Um, but given that, and once it's something you can add off thrust, so one of our thrust targets from before was going to be moved into the main deck. Before I had Duster, um, that was when I expected a little Dweller to be happening. Um, I thought there'd be a lot of that, and that's why Duster was in there against Cash and Rescue Ace. 
but with more mirror, I'd rather something for, like, for the mirror like this. Uh, and then versus how the decks is still good as well. So this was the, the mid ground and then duster just moved to the side. Uh, with the cutting of three nibs and the duster and then putting in this plus these two, uh, that's come out to 40, which I was very happy with. I wanted to keep the deck consistent because uh, the awkward bricky hands are the ones that, you know, struggle. I drew Ice King a lot this tournament. Nothing feels when you're drawn lucky versus when you're not drawn that good. You can absolutely feel the difference. Uh, Niagara, I was, I mean, Vancouver, I was drawn um, great. And uh, all my games felt very, very good because of that. This was a lot harder, it felt like. Um, yes, that's 40. Side deck. Three Ash Blossom and Joy Spring. Um, I still think this just breaks a lot of decks. Um, and going first, again, you diversify your, your interruptions. That's great. Um, there's Merit to Manning. I know Walter made it, who we tested with. Um, we just felt like, I don't know, I, you could main it. it, it sometimes it's hit or miss. Uh, three Joyous, it's, what, no, what's it called? Um, Ghost Sister Spooky Dogwood. Uh, so this is cool. You put it going first in the mirror, uh, and then you make your field and you dog with them. I talked about before how it's like really hard to kill your opponent and then keep them off a of follow-up. Um, and then you just lose the, lose the game on the next turn anyways most of the time. So you have to try to kill them. But if you just can't kill them, then it's, it's really hard. So the, the idea was you put this in and it acts like kind of like this. You have both of these in the deck for going first and then Eclipses. And you have several bombs that make it really hard for them to kill you. Um, obviously, like, it should be impossible to, to die when they do this. Um, I did not have a single time. Um, but... That was the idea, at least. And then you can stay alive, uh, get the follow-up, and it's good. So it has real applications, not just, uh, you know, what people think. Um, other matchups that I wouldn't set this in, really. Uh, Nibiru, again, same thing. And then going second versus Rescue Ace, you still want this, and Dragon, you want this. I almost cut it because I felt like for the mirror, I wasn't sure if I wanted it anymore. At least for going second, but I felt like it could be fine. This was almost Drolls for Dragon Link, and then I guess Flew maybe should have been. However, my loss in top eight was Shifter, so wouldn't have helped. I don't know. We're thinking about. Uh, and then the rest should be Thrust cards, right? I mean, it's back removals. Uh, again, they say the same Thrust target um, for Chimera and Rescue. Um, I was putting in a lot of stuff. And uh, cash is starting to play a lot more like it's like deck lock down, and that can be only one, so you want, really want these for cash. Um, yeah. Uh, one reason I made this as well um, over dusters, I figured at least um, against deck can be only one if they had Fenrir up, you just change a heart via Fenrir, and you can banish the deck can be only one stall, which is big, because um, some people were scared that with duster, um, without duster in the deck, you just lose to that. And I still felt like I had an out. Um, Pack, I think, ended up playing Hail the Best as his one target instead. Instead of Change of Heart, then he wouldn't have been able to out the, the thing. He was more focused on purely. I did not agree. I think the deck is fine with the Hail the Best still. Like, you don't even have to play this, but um, I still, I guess, for the one spot on the side, it's worth it. And it's nice for his cash loss. I didn't risk cash going second because sometimes they'll have lands and uh, Rise Heart, you just need to kill it. Um, especially when they have like Goliath plus lands, if you just can't out it without this. So it's nice. They like storm them and then the chain lands, you know, you can thrust for this instead of tactics. Yeah, you know, I've been over that before. Uh, then the Dream of Cannon again, because just shift through the matters. If there was something that covered both cash and flu, that'd be fantastic, but I'm not sure there is. Uh, that'd be, I guess, the thing to look for um, for the future. Although, well, now we don't really need to worry about cash, but um, that's kind of what was on my mind. Um, I figured there still wouldn't be that much flu, so maybe that was a mistake. Oversight, maybe just should have committed for one extra spot for a card for flu to, to thrust for. Um, in my top eight match, I lost, but I could have picked a thrust that, that I would have got said side card for if I decided on one. Obviously, it's hindsight though. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the side 15. Um, mostly happy with it, but I don't know. This one felt probably the most rushed out of all of them. I don't know why. Maybe because now people are catching on how the deck works. Uh, Darius, which I'm going to summon this tournament again. Um, and I did get shifted, but. I just never saw Tour Guide that got shifted, I guess. You know. Uh, that's when you want this. Two Caesars, I still think two is necessary. Uh, Machine X, you could play a second, but I don't know. Zeus. Um, I messed up. I, I banished from the Frost one game, but yeah, the card's good. Mockcracker, Griffin, uh, and summon either of these this tournament. 
usually some muck oh, actually I some muckraker. I did some muckraker. Um yeah, I still never summoned this, but it's just like I'm everyone tells me you just you'll need it sometimes. I really don't know, man, but yeah. I don't have the confidence to, to just cut it. Uh Unicorn's great. A bomb, anguish, double rage, standard, three yamas. Um, so yeah, there's no goddess in here. We cut goddess. Um, I was a, we were debating cutting this or this or uh, goddess. Um, things to consider were ultimate slayer targets. I ended up not wanting the card because it was like Anna spell. Um, and I just felt like um, oh, I lost my train of thought. Uh, in, against like dragon and sometimes the mirror the third yama can come up when they're banishing yamas which it never did so I don't know everyone kept telling me it could um, but yeah I never needed it either so I don't think you needed it anyways yeah, that's the deck um, again shout out to luxury gaming card markets um, new balance so we'll see what happens next at Dortmund we'll be there and hopefully that one goes well too